Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again and welcome back. Uh, today's story is in relation to uh, Peter, my neighbour next door but one, who has a trailer with a metal hard top on it with wing doors that are held up with um, uh, gas struts. Now back in May uh, 2021 um, he wanders along and says uh, Dave can you, uh, I've got a problem with the, with the trailer, he said can you uh, can you pop up and, and, and give me a hand. So I duly wandered along so I said what's the matter then Peter? He said well he said I went to open the doors he said and there was these terrific loud bangs he said, N now as you can see, the, the, the door is, is uh, hanging a bit crazily. Um, you know, c can you give me a hand? So we duly, uh, between us, we managed to uh, shut the doors back down again and lock them. And uh, and I said, OK, you know, it, it's getting fairly late now. I'll, I'll come along tomorrow and, and investigate and see what I can do to help you out. So the following day, I, 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 I go along, I take my... Uh, a short pair of steps to climb up and have a look and what I discovered was that um, there were three hinges on the on the on each door and two of them um, were sheared off so what had actually happened was um, it's, it, this is 20 years old it's parked out in, in, in all weathers and what had actually happened um, were the hinges had, uh, had rusted up solid so of course when he tried to open the doors all that actually all that happened was was the the hinges refused to move, so the the world just just gave way. So I then duly come back and got my um, angle grinder and 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 cut and cut through the uh, remaining welds on 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 the only working hinge on each door and 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 uh, disconnected the da the gas strut and uh, placed the doors onto the ground. So once I'd done that, I could then actually see the uh, the amount of damage that was there. I mean, it, it was really, really, really heavily rusted up. Now the hinges are only only simple hinges, um, three quarter square tube, uh, square tube, three quarter round uh, uh, tube with a with a half inch hole in it. Um, so three sections were welded onto the door, and the other um, four sections were welded onto the trailer top. And there was a, a solid half inch rod to go all the way through. Um, but actually, you know, I, I, I tried it with a, with a pair of um, pipe grips, but there's no way could I could I move them. So of course I duly had to come along, get my oxyacetylene kit out, and, and, and take that back up there and start to, uh, like in the end, I had to get them red hot to um, and, and a pair of pipe grips to, to eventually get them to move. Now it was quite a long job. I mean, prob probably a good, probably a good two hours. Uh, you know, to, before I could actually get them to to move. I mean, not not move freely. I couldn't I couldn't turn them with my fingers or anything, but they they did move easily with with uh, you know with with a, with the with the pipe grips. Um, so what I then decided to do was um, drill a about a four millimeter hole in each of the uh, six hinge pins that uh, that that were supposed to move. Um, so that I could, I could um, then get my airline and actually blast it into the little hole and actually blow all the all the um, rust dust out. Eventually, after a lot of sort of you know tapping with a with a with a mallet and, and keep wiggling with the with the pliers, eventually um, you know I blew all the dust out and and uh, I could actually spin them by uh, spin them with two fingers. So I then proceeded to to drip oil into each hole and continue to blast it with the uh, compressed air until they all come out at, 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 at both ends, and I could actually then just spin it with uh, with um, with just one finger. Now the next thing to do, of course, was to uh, was to clean up all the uh, hinges um, ready for uh, rewelding. Now I've only got that um, uh, gasless MIG AC welder, um, but as I say, it managed to uh, managed to put it on. I mean, not 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 pretty well. I mean, I had quite a bit of filling in to do because you know from where the where the um, the doors were ripped off from the from the hinges. Of course, it's actually torn quite a bit of the metal 
But anyway, managed to put it back on and, and tidy it all up. Um, give it a spray with a bit of aerosol of um, primer. Um, a job done and I thought well you know I think the best thing we can actually do is perhaps protect the hinges so what I actually made up and you'll, and you'll see some pictures of this at the end um, I've got some PVC pull pipe uh, cut, a, cut a hole in it um, which totally covered the, the hinge I fitted end caps on it with uh, strings so that it could be left on there while you're while at all times even, even when driving and I fitted some eyelets to the uh, end of the uh, top uh, so to actually um, tie them on um, and, and, and as far as I was concerned <laughs> the job the job was done um, but Peter said oh you know it was it was say it was it was looking quite quite tacky so originally it was it was uh, Brunswick green which is a nice dark green but as I've worked in that in the, in the sunshine it has really faded a lot of it was peeling off um, it was say it was a, it was a company trailer um, and it had a lot of uh, sign writing on it that uh, now wasn't applicable um, so he said oh um, perhaps perhaps I'll, perhaps I'll get it uh, tidied up uh, so on his behalf I made some um, inquiries um, about getting it sandblasted right back to uh, bare metal and uh, and resprayed uh, <laughs> The, the quotes come back well would have been cheaper to buy a new trailer so that obviously that was that was out the window um, so I thought mm, Davey you know you are a fool but so I said um, well I'll tell you what Peter um, I'll strip the paint off for you I said you know because I mean some of it you could just rub it with your fingers and it would fall off but uh, you know what with a what with a scraper and a wire brush and a bit of sandpaper and thingies you know I got it back to um, got it back to bare metal again now uh, another neighbour, uh, Jason, he he sprayed my um, dual bandsaw. Made a nice job of that. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll ask him. You know, you know, will you spray Peter's trailer for him? And um, he said, no. You know what? We, you know, he was too busy with work and family commitments. He said, you know, I'd love to help, but uh, sorry, just 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 can't uh, can't afford the time. So I come back to Peter and said, well, look, you know, Jason said he's he's he can't do it. Um, I certainly didn't know. And uh, you know, after watching what he had to do to, to paint my band, so I thought there's no way I'm going to get involved with spraying cellulose and all the all the things that you have to do. So I said, um, the best thing I can do, Peter, is um, uh, just paint it by hand using a, using a brush and a roller. So. Uh, Peter having agreed to that we said okay well let's uh, strip it down so it's only four bolts um, and we got the top uh, lifted off and stood on end uh, that then showed the extent of the you know the rust underneath and, and uh, you know what needed to be doing so um, I proceeded to um, uh, wire brush the tread plate to get all the um, get all the rust off and then I um, aerosol can, rattle can, sprayed it with, with um, a bare metal primer. Um, I also then took off uh, each wheel, cleaned out the, the, the wheel arches and the hubs and axles and, and um, springs, uh, sprayed those with, uh, with the same grey primer and then I put um, matte black uh, top coat on. Um, so then of course it was it was a case of well we can't do any more now what are we going to do about uh now our local bunnings um got, got a terrific range of paint and i discovered that there was uh made by dulux a paint called weather shield and it was uh, and it didn't need a primer you could, it, it, you could paint it on wood metal uh straight onto bare metal uh, no problem at all um, guarantee for, for 10 years in in harsh Australian weather conditions now uh, on reading the uh, instructions about it uh, being water based they said it was sprayable just just add 10% water and you can use a standard spray gun so I thought ah, perhaps we'll have a little go with this then um, so uh, didn't, didn't go mad with it, never, never had any spray before, so I only bought a, um, 
a Chinese made $35 spray gun. Um, now not wishing to want to muck about um, keep trolling up to Peter's face for painting I got him to um, push it down and, and park it on my front lawn. Now um, I live in uh, a court which is probably is, probably called a cul-de-sac I suppose in England. It's a T-shaped road, three houses on uh, each side as you drive in and four houses across the top. Now I'm on one of the, the top houses and, and so is Peter so it's easy just to walk between the two, you haven't got to worry about you know walking into into moving moving traffic so as I say once the uh, the trailer was along there um, uh, away we went so in due course the the spray gun arrived and and um, you know I began to to paint it you know what I consider you know quite a reasonable job now I'm sure there'll be many of you out there that, will, that are going to leave me comments to say oh you should have done this you shouldn't have done that blah 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 but anyway um, I, I, I think it, it turned out a reasonable job. Um, when it was done, uh, I then uh, finished the trailer there, I then went up and, and sprayed the uh, top section. Now that was still standing on its end um, from where we took it off. Um, so of course I was able, after cleaning all up of course, I was able to, uh, to spray the top uh, inside of both the doors and inside the, the top. Uh, so when that was that was ready, um, we pushed the trailer from my place back up to Peter's, put the bolted the top back on again, wheeled the trailer back down to my uh, front lawn again, and then uh, all that was left was was the uh, both ends inside and out, and the uh, and the outside of the doors. So when that was duly um, completed, we pushed it back up to Peter's, and 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 that was it. Um, job done. It. Uh, Judy went of course to, down to, to Melbourne, so they, we, we live in Adelaide by the way, so down uh, from Adelaide to um, Melbourne's about, I don't know, uh, a thousand kilometres, something like that, anyway they went down there for the wedding and they failed to come back, so um, all well and good and, and say that the paint survived the journey. Now back in the uh, beginning of December, uh, 21, uh, Peter says to me, oh, uh, we're going down to Melbourne for um, three weeks to, to visit the daughter and, and have a tour around and we're going to take the trailer with us to put all the extra um, suitcases and stuff in. He said, uh, are, you, are you up for, a, for some modifications I'd like done? So I thought, oh, well, here we go, I suppose, you know, have them sitting about twiddling my thumbs, I suppose. So uh, what he wanted was a um, an external uh, box fitted that had a 12 volt cigarette lighter on it so that he could then um, he's got a portable battery so that he could stick that in the uh, back of the trailer and have that charging he said oh we'd also like a, a light put in there so what I actually done was got some of this um, uh, LED um, lights on a, on, on a roll you know you just cut off with a pair of scissors as much as you want self adhesive on the back not that I use a self adhesive because it, it wouldn't stand the wouldn't stand the temperature and also um, he said he'd like a, um, a rear view a camera fitted. Now apparently I've, ne I've never I've never driven with a, a caravan or a, or a trailer on there but uh, I understand that uh, you know if you're, if you're driving along and, 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 the, and the van or the trailer starts to uh, become a bit erratic you know it could be an uh, indication that you know you've got a got a tyre problem but uh, usually what it is is, is it's these great big uh, 18 wheeler trucks they can, apparently they come rushing up behind you and of course they're pushing such a vast volume of air in front of them that it causes a trailer or a, or a caravan to become a little bit unstable and start wobbling a bit so the idea of the camera is Peter can then just, he's got one fitting on his caravan he can just glance up on his, on his uh, uh, monitor that he's got uh, fitted to his rear view mirror and say oh yeah no it's, it's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a truck coming um, so that's, that's what he wanted it for now the last modification that he wanted, he thought, well he wanted as much space inside the uh, trailer as possible. So he said, uh, any chance, he said, you can fit me a, an, a, a, a spare wheel on, on, the, on the front of the trailer. He said, you can fit me a small uh, tool chest. You know, so he said to put the jack and the wheel brace and all the other bloody odds and sods that he had in there. So that was, uh, that was duly fitted on there. 
Now the, it's only only a cheeky bunny thing, very very um, very thin material. So I lined it with um, foam to stop the tools crashing around as you're driving along and knocking great dents in it. And also the other thing was the um, the, the simple lock was actually on the top so of course the first time it rained it was just going to fill up with water so I removed that, I manufactured out of Delwyn a nice um, uh, recessed uh, mechani uh, up cover for the lock uh, which had an internal thread screw cut in it and I then made a, um, uh, a screw on cap with an o-ring uh, as I say you'll, you'll, you'll see all this uh, in the pictures at the end so uh, in due course, he, he then wandered off for three weeks um, touring around Victoria and the trailer's come back just looking like the day that I've done it. So, in general, uh, I'm happy with the, with, with the job. As I said, I, I know so many people are saying, oh, you know, that, 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 that paint's a bit patchy in places. But, but bearing in mind that, uh, you know, I've been spraying it in, in hot, um, I, mean, it, it, I mean, even in May, it was, it was quite warm. Um, you know, so quite often, you know, the the paint was drying um, a bit a bit too quick. Uh, but you know, I seem happy. He seems happy. Uh, so there we are. That's 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 the story of Peter's. Now, just to finish off with another little bit of uh, a little bonus, uh, talking about trailers. Now, when um, uh, Jason sprayed my dual bands or blue. Um, I gave him the surface paint because he's got a, an open trailer that is blue and I said well look you know it's no use to me you might as well hang on to it uh, I said but bear in mind that um, there's, only, there's only about 12 months there was a date on the, on the, on the can um, and they only recommended uh, 12 months shelf life so since the 12 months was and I just finished Peter's trailer uh, I said uh, how do you fancy um, uh, doing your trailer so I got him to uh, push it over and all that needed doing with that was was the um, uh, the tread plate in the bottom was was um, uh, had sort of some rusting on it you know from where he'd had hard coal and sand in it but that come out easily with a uh, with a with a wire brush um, and he did the painting of course to say because it's because it's it's so low you know I wasn't going to get involved in that so I just marked it up now bearing in mind um, my front lawn is artificial grass so I thought there's no way that <laughs> I want it painted blue so you'll see in the pictures um, loads of plastic and cardboard and, and stuff on there so that I didn't get any blue grass um, artificial grass is uh, all very nice you know no no watering no um, cutting needed but you just have to be so careful with it you know if I'm doing any uh, angle grinding or welding I have to watch out that I don't get any of it uh, going onto the plastic grass otherwise it melts Right, so enough waffle. Um, I think we'll end it there. Uh, I hope you will enjoy watching this and see some of the things that I uh, that I get up to. Uh, nothing else much to say other than uh, please subscribe, ring the bell, click the like button. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment, good or bad. Uh, drop me an email. The address is in the uh, description below. Uh, so until next time. Um, Wherever you are in the world, please stay safe and well. Catch you on the next one. Bye.